These protesters chant from the river to the sea, but do many don't have a clue what river and what sea they're talking about. They not only get an F in geography, they get an F in history. They call Israel, they call Israel a colonialist state. Don't they know that the land of Israel is where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob prayed, where Isaiah and Jeremiah preached, and where David and Solomon ruled? For nearly 4,000 years, the land of Israel has been the homeland of the Jewish people. It's always been our home. It will always be our home. It's not only the campus protesters who get it wrong. It's also the people who run those campuses. 80 years after the Holocaust, 80 years after the Holocaust, the presidents of Harvard, Penn, and I'm ashamed to say my alma mater, MIT, couldn't bring themselves to condemn the calls for the genocide of Jews. You remember what they said? They said, it depends on the context. Well, let me give these befuddled academics a little context. <laughs> Anti-Semitism is the world's oldest hatred. For centuries, the massacre of Jews was always preceded by wild accusations. We were accused of everything from poisoning wells to spreading plagues, to using the blood of slaughtered children to bake Passover matzos. These preposterous anti-Semitic lies led to persecution, mass murder, and ultimately to history's worst genocide, the Holocaust. Now, just as malicious lies were leveled for centuries at the Jewish people, malicious lies are now being leveled at the Jewish state. No, no, don't applaud. Listen. The outrageous slanders that paint Israel as racist and genocidal are meant to delegitimize Israel, to demonize the Jewish state, and to demonize Jews everywhere. And no wonder, no wonder we've witnessed an appalling rise of anti-Semitism in America and around the world. My friends, whenever and wherever we see the scourge of anti-Semitism, we must unequivocally condemn it and resolutely fight it, without exception.